good morning and welcome to my channel. So many of you may have been wondering where the heck I've been. So I took a little bit of a hiatus off of pretty much everything in my office except for my Etsy shop. And basically I just kind of took a step back and kind of wanted to get my life itself together. And, um, what I mean by that is I wanted to get healthy, like healthier. And so I started a new program and it's more of a psychological program, not, um, a diet per se. It's called Noom. Many of you probably have heard of it. Um, but it's, it's really amazing and it kind of makes you step back and think about yourself and about your life, the way you view things, the way you look at things, and it's pretty awesome. So I've been eating a lot better, obviously, because, well, that's what started the whole thing was, you know, I wanted to feel good uh, physically. So um, I have lost uh, 15 pounds so far and counting. So, uh, yay! Anyway, um, I feel good. Uh, I have gone out a couple times. Um, I got my nails did. Yay! Um, although my fingers are kind of pink because I dyed a couple doilies in some pink Kool-Aid <laughs> the other day and my hands are still pink from that. Like I remember when I was younger, I used to make Kool-Aid for the kids and it never failed. My fingers would always turn pink, red, purple, whatever color of the Kool-Aid that it was. Um, but yeah, uh, and here's some of my, cause I'm, I'm starting a new thing on my Etsy shop. Like, I don't know how many of you guys follow my Etsy shop. Um, I, I have noticed a tendency that, uh, people that watch my channel don't necessarily shop on my shop and vice versa. If my customers on my shop don't necessarily know that I have a YouTube channel. Um, hopefully that'll change and hopefully, you know, we'll bring them together and it all become one journey of crafting community. But anyway, um, I have on my shop right now a fall bundle and so I have a new idea and I'm going to need some pink. <laughs> and so we're kind of going to work on stuff like that. Um, today, uh, I made up some journaling cards, well, <laughs> part of some journaling cards. I only did a couple. Uh, I did these today. So I still have to do the other side of them. So these are Project Life cards. And I don't know about you guys, but I have a ton of these. Uh, I have to look at where my recording time is so I don't like go too far past the time. Because I know some people like long videos and some people are like, oh god, it's a 45 minute video. So I don't know what we're going to do. I think I'm going to start with an hour and then I'm going to um, ask for feedback basically and just see see where the road takes us and we will we'll change accordingly. But I'm going to zoom you guys in just a little bit because I didn't realize that it was so far out. Um, let's see if I do this the right way. Yeah, there we go. Um, so we're just going to make some journaling cards. Um, just kind of kind of mass produce a little bit if you will some of them are vertical and some of them are um, horizontal and this particular ledger paper here I actually got from Eve um, over in Switzerland last year so that's where this particular ledger paper come from she sent it to me because she's a sweetheart um, so I have kept in contact with Eve. Um, she's doing good, just in case you guys haven't. Um, I'm gonna grab some, I think, I wanna do some napkins and not on the dark ones because I think the dark ones might be a little too dark. So I might have to either do another like ledger paper, something like that, or scrapbook paper. So I do have some scrapbook paper that I want to use because uh, we're going to do like um, kind of a wintery theme because I, I love winter and because I have an Etsy shop, I do have to do it a little bit early 
so I can actually get it in the shop and um, people that are looking to make journals or cards or whatever can, you know, get the items that they're looking for. So I'm just going to grab a couple pieces of scrapbook paper, I think. And, oh, that one's pretty. Uh, uh. So I'm going to use this one here. I'm going to use Mr. Santa Claus here. And, um, you know, I don't know if I want to do Mod Podge or if I want to use a glue stick. Because I'm going to sew around all of these anyway, so I don't think it really matters too, too much. I don't think. You know, oh, there it is. I was going to say, I had this whole desk organized. I actually cleaned off my desk. I know you guys can't actually see my desk, but I cleaned off my desk. And it was, it's just amazing. Amazing how much room you have when you clean off your desk. It's like, what? I'm just going to tear this off and glue it. Because I was playing around with, uh, I found, um, I found a couple pens that I used to use a lot in card making and such, and um, they're called Wink of Stella. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, anyway, I found them and I was playing with them on that book page. I was also playing with them on some of the scrapbook paper as well. But anyway, so how have you guys been? How are you? Like, how are you guys doing? What have you been up to? I know a couple of you have kept in contact with me. A couple of you have, you know, messaged me, um, either text messaged me or, you know, Facebook messaged me or whatnot. And I very, very much appreciate it. Also, if you did keep in contact, then you kind of knew this day was coming, you know, that I was going to come back on, on the YouTubes and go that the way. Um, you were probably just waiting, <laughs> patiently waiting for me to get off my hiney. I'm going to go ahead and cover the rest of this page so I can use it up because it is really pretty paper. It's got the snowflakes and whatnot. I love the vintage Santa. So I'm going to go ahead and cover the rest of the paper. Um, we're going to leave the horizontal for different paper, I think because we can put this one, yeah. Yeah, because if it goes to this line right here, then we can cover it with something lace or, you know, what else? Because you guys know I might have a, a scrap or two of lace. You know, just a little. My lace collection, oh my gosh, my lace collection has grown exponentially. Because I started selling it. So now I have yards and yards and yards and yards of lace. If you guys are curious, head over to my Etsy shop. It's uh, it's Journey of Crafting. Everything I have is all Journey of Crafting. Whether it's Facebook or YouTube or Etsy or Instagram. Yes, I have an Instagram. No, I am not very active. <laughs> so please don't yell at me if I don't answer you back immediately because half the time I don't even know how that thing works um, I'm not joking it took me four months to figure out that Instagram was a, a mobile only application it was it was a little crazy but anyway um, but yeah so if you're looking for supplies I have a ton of supplies on my shop I have anything from napkins to stickers to lace um, I have a fall autumn bundle right now on sale. Well, it is on sale. I did mark the price down. Um, but it's not it's not on a sale. I just I just counted the price. That's what I did. Um, but anyway, is that over far enough? I'm thinking I'm gonna scoot it up all the way over. All the way. I'm gonna have to use a knife to cut this though. I think. Oh, perfect. Perfect. 
So anyway. But yeah, I've got a lot of stuff on there. Um, you'll actually see me using a lot of the stuff that I have on my shop in my projects. Um, because I have noticed um, that some of my top sellers are actually not my supplies. They're my handcrafted items. So in order for me to um oh so anyway they were my handcrafted items are some of my top sellers right so i told wayne i was just like you know i'm making this stuff anyway i might as well turn the camera on and record because it's like one more step right well technically two because you got to turn the camera on and then you got to upload to youtube so technically it's like two more steps but anyway so anywho, um, hence the comeback into YouTube land. Um, I hope you guys didn't abandon me completely. I wouldn't blame you if you did, because I mean, I did take, uh, what was it, like a couple months at least, two months maybe, maybe a little more. I don't know exactly, honestly. I do remember the last um, things that we were doing was the um, the alphabet challenge, and I believe I still have a couple letters left on that. I'll have to dig into my my folder on my computer to see exactly what letter we left off on, because I want to say we left off on W, but I'm not a thousand percent sure. Because that's a number, you know. Oh, these are going to be so pretty. So I'll cut these out on camera, but I'm not going to sew them on camera. I'll just do that off camera. Mostly because my sewing machine is ginormous and it's loud. And I know a lot of people are very particular about their hearing. And I know some people are just like, oh, well, they can just turn the volume down. Yeah, I get it, but I guess having kids that are, like, sensitive to hearing, uh, it makes me a little bit more sensitive to sound by default, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I do what I can. But that and the fact that I feel like it would be kind of, boring to sit here and watch me sew around like 35,000 cards. Um, now, if it was just like one or two, or even ten, I would be like, yeah, sure, whatever, I'd do that. But, there's a huge stack here. And, I ain't about the numbers. Because <laughs> I'll just crank on my iTunes, because I've got my iTunes connected to um, this computer. And I'll just crank on my iTunes or, you know, turn my YouTube on to whomever and just bust them out. Because I'll just do like a kind of an assembly line style thing. That's what I did with my bags. Because all of my bags right now are, they're just bases. And, um, let me go ahead and just cut these apart. This will be so much easier if they're separated. Anyway, all of the bags are bases for my bundles. And that's what I did with them. I just kind of assembly lined them because the bases themselves are very similar, if not identical. It's the decoration that makes them different. And then I'll show you guys what these cards look like, which I think are going to be really cool. And hopefully, towards the end of these little projects here, you guys will be able to guess what my idea is for this for the next bundle. Obviously it has to do with winter, otherwise 
you know, we wouldn't have a snowman or uh, a Santa Claus, wherever he's at. There he is. Santa Claus. I'm not cute though. I love that. But I love winter. I love fall too, but it just seemed to have went by so fast as far as like a seller goes. Um, as a creator, I will still create fall items. I just want to get these kits into the shop and then I'll start creating the fall items and I'll put those on the shop. Oh no! Well, we just trimmed off the top of that card. That one's just going to be just a hair shorter than the rest of them. You could also sand these if you wanted to um, skip the whole cutting aspect of it. Especially like the corners. Because not everybody's got a quarter rounder or can cut a line around the corners. But you could use a, a sand block. That's what I have. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to distress these or not, so I'm not going to sand them. Because normally with sanding, you're going to get a, you're going to get a distressed look. Because it changes the texture of your paper on the edges. Just a smidge. So, I think the last time I was talking to you guys, my son was trying to cram in four years of high school into nine months. We have since backed off of that just a smidge um, because I just, I don't know. I, I want to be able to be someone to push him, but at the same time, I still want him to be a kid, you know? Like he's over at a friend's house, a sleepover tonight. And you know, he wouldn't have been able to do that last month because you know, He's got finals and this, that, and another. And I mean, he did already finish the ninth grade, but we decided to pull the 10th grade and just kind of spread it out a little bit instead of um, pushing it in, like instead of condensing it up. So he still has big dreams, but I just, I don't know. I just, I really want him to be a kid. Cause I don't want him to look back and be like, man, I wish my mom would have let me do this, that, and another. Because that's, that's, I think, one of the regrets we all have at some point in time. You know, we wish that our parents would have let us do this, that, or whatever. You know? Um, and, I mean, I have that. Honestly, I think my biggest regret is... Um, not really meeting my dad until I was 13, even though I didn't really have anything to do with that. But I love my dad. My dad is like, he is amazing. And I think everybody should have someone like that. Someone who supports you no matter what, even if you're, you know, even if you make like really bad decisions and you know, you, you don't call for a year, they still love you. Regardless. I don't know. I guess I'm just picky like that. I like people that are just like, you know, I love you. For, um, even my friends are like that. Like my people that are actually my friends, my real friends, even my friends are like that. Like my best friend in the whole world. Uh, I'm not sure I'd s I've spoken to her in over a year. But I know that I could pick up the phone at any point in time and be like, yo, hey, what's up? And it wouldn't be awkward. It wouldn't be weird. It wouldn't be, why are you calling? It would just be like, hey, oh my gosh, I was just thinking about you. Or, oh my God, I haven't talked to you in forever. You know, whatever. Just crazy stuff like that, you know? And it's funny because you remember how I was saying that I was on this program called Noom and it's more of a psychological program than a diet, which, you know, it is. It use, it's very big on informing you, 
that it uses psychology, sociology, and science to help you, you know, change your life because it's not about changing your diet. It's about changing your life. And I think that's why I've done so well with it, honestly, because it's like a course to me. And I've always been very studious, like even in high school and college, like all of it. I've always been very studious. I loved learning. And so I just, I took it at an angle like that. And I was just like, you know, let's do this. And it kind of teaches you to look at your life differently to you know embrace everything you know get rid of the negativity the people that aren't there for you and aren't supportive of you they're not your friends the people that only criticize you they're not your friends even if they mean well, but the only thing that they have to say is negative things, they're not your friends. And that's one of the things this program has taught me is I don't need other people to tell me how good of a person I am. And I needed that. My whole life I needed that. And, you know, in the last month, I was just like, I know I'm a good person. I don't need Joe Schmo telling me I'm a good person because he doesn't know me. So, I hope that makes sense. And I hope that you all can realize and see for yourselves that you're good people. You don't need me to tell you that. You need you to tell you that. So I think these turned out so cool. So these are the backs, right? So you can still write on them, obviously. But we can either collage on this side or decorate or whatever on this side. And then we have this side. Isn't that pretty? And then you can also, I love Santa. You could also like make these into a tag. You would just cut the little corners off and punch a little hole right there. And voila! So, and there we go. You know, in 22 minutes, well, 20 minutes, um, we made one, two, three, four, five, six. We made six journaling cards. Of course, we have to decorate them because, I mean, you could leave them like that in journals, but. I don't know. I gotta zhuzh it up. I gotta make it jazzy. Jazzy. So let's find another sheet of paper, shall we? Um, so I'm digging around over here in multiple pads of paper. This is one of them. This one's called Ice Crystals. Um, and it's by Recollections. Uh, this was from, oh gosh, a while back. Um, yeah, I don't have a date for you. I'm sorry, but I've had so much paper. I actually bought paper. Ooh, that is bad. I actually bought paper for the first time in a very long time, just the other day. And it actually should be here soon. I mean, scrapbook paper, not like napkins or, ooh, that's pretty, um, napkins or, uh, tissue paper or rice paper. By the way, Miss Gail got me addicted to rice paper. Um, yeah. And if you haven't seen Miss Gail, please go visit Miss Gail and tell her I said hey. Because uh, she's amazing. She's very friendly. She's very positive. Very uplifting. And she's just a wonderful, wonderful friend. She's been so supportive of me, and I just, I couldn't be more grateful for her. All right, so I'm trying to lay these out. Um, I don't know that we're going to get to use, yeah. Um, actually, yeah, that should be good. I think that'll fit. Yeah, we'll still get. And this particular paper isn't directional. They're just snowflakes on wood grain. So it could really go either way. 
So, we're going to do six more. Um, do we want to do those or we want to do these? I think we'll do these. Let's see how many we got. One, two, three, four. Oh, and this is some old brittle ledger paper here. And when you back it on something, especially like a card, you really take that brittle and make it not necessarily a big thing. Uh, two, four, five, and six. Because I know a lot of people have a hard time working with brittle paper. Well, because it's brittle. Um, and I've had a lot of people ask me in the past, you know, like, well, what do you do with it? It's so brittle. Oh, you just put it on the back of cards. That's all. So, actually with this one, I don't think it really matters because um, they're all vertical. So, I think. Yeah, I think I still want to glue. I was going to say, I think I want to do wet glue, but I think glue's, I think wet glue might do an even, a more even coat. So if I can put the lid back on my glue stick properly, let's put you over there. Um, let's grab. I don't know which glue I want to use. Mod Podge, maybe, I guess. That's just, that's a really wet one. Yeah, I think Mod Podge will work. Oh, that's my Etsy shop. Oi! Alright. We're just going to glue right onto the paper. So. I have my phone on, on me, um, because I am, I don't have an Apple watch. I did ask my husband, I was like, that's what I want for Christmas. Cause every year he always asks me, what do you want for Christmas? And every year I'm like, I don't know, a clean house <laughs> like that. I don't have to clean that. That's the kicker that I don't have to clean. <laughs> um, So, anyway, I was just like, you know, I actually know what I want for Christmas. He's like, what? It's like, I want an Apple Watch. I actually said, I want a watch. And he looked at me funny, because I've had this one for many years. And it's not cheap. So he looked at me funny. <laughs> it was like, an Apple Watch. It's like, oh. And so I told him um, the one that I wanted and why I wanted it. Uh, ma mainly one of the biggest reasons I wanted is because right now I have to keep my phone on me like 24-7. Um, if I want to keep track of my steps. And so I think I'm just going to paint the paper. I think that would make it easier. So anyway, um, yeah, I told him I wanted an Apple Watch. There was something else. Oh, slippers. I've had this. Okay, so do you guys like get a new pair of slippers like every year or something? Um, I don't. I've had the same pair of slippers for like the past 15 years. Anyway, I'm, it got pretty chilly here um, a couple days ago. And so I was... Well, it's been about a week now, actually. But anyway, so it got pretty chilly, and um, I was walking around the house with my slippers on. And all of a sudden, I stepped on something. I had no idea what. I looked down. I didn't step on anything except my slipper because my slipper broke. The sole of my slipper went, and it just it broke. So I was stepping on my slipper is what I was stepping on. It's kind of funny. Because then I just kept flopping around. It's like, oh, my slipper's broken. I couldn't take myself to, or I couldn't bear to uh, throw them away. Because I had them for so long. I didn't want to throw them away. 
I guess I'm just sentimental like that. And I don't know why I'm doing this with the whole paper. Um, the book page, I mean. I, but I think it's because I literally just laid this fresh paper down. And I don't want to mess it up just yet. I want to give it a day or two. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to record ahead as much as I can. Um, because I never know what I'm going to be doing that day. Like tonight, it's actually Sunday night, or excuse me, Saturday night. And this particular video is going to go up tomorrow. So you'll see it Sunday morning. I think it's Sunday. Uh, yeah, I think it's Sunday morning is when you'll, when you'll see it. No! Okay. Um, so I'm going to actually schedule my videos for 8 a.m. because I've always done 8 a.m. from like the time I can remember when I did videos not lives um, I'm probably not gonna do lives uh, because I cannot dedicate that much time like it's one thing to sit down for an hour record and then you know go do something else because I eat like every two hours for one so I can't sit there for you know six hours streaming a live, a live stream um, that and the fact that both of my kids both of my two younger kids are homeschooled so they're constantly needing something like even right now my daughter is doing schoolwork because she got behind and so she's got to catch up. Um, normally, neither one of them work on Saturday and Sunday. I have them off on Saturday and Sunday. But she slacked off. And now she's got to work on the weekend. And she's not happy with me. I'm like, well, I didn't make you slack off. I don't know why you're mad at me. I didn't do it. You did or rather didn't do it. So, but you ain't got nobody to blame but yourself. She was not happy with me. This is the baby. She didn't. Um, by the way, we started teaching her flute. And that was fun. The only thing that she doesn't like about it is that you have to use so much wind. She's like, why do you have to use so much wind? It's like, well, because it's a woodwind instrument. <laughs> I don't know. You just need a lot of air, child. <laughs> so, oh. Yeah, I think painting on the paper itself is good. And I can always go back like here and I swear I thought I did this already. I did do this, right? <laughs> like this particular side, I did. I think it's because it's so wet, it's like curling up and not grabbing, maybe. I don't know. I learn these things as we go. I just wanna like dump it out. Can I do that? Well, I just did, basically. Away. So I've missed you guys. I've missed interacting with you guys. Showing you guys all the stuff that I've been up to. I really want to know what you guys have been doing. Like what have you been up to? Because I've been out of the, the YouTube world completely. Like I haven't been watching people's live video or live streams. I haven't been watching people's videos. Like nothing. I've been completely AFK from YouTube. Um, oh, that is way better, but we're going to have to let it dry now. Um, so we're just going to take the whole thing and set it aside. But 
Anyway, so yeah, I've been completely away from the entire YouTube world. Um, no live streams or videos or anything. It, like, there was one person that I, like, went back and, like, caught up on all her videos. Again, because she's been incredibly supportive of me. She always has been. And, um, uh, I even let her know, like, I did not disappear. <laughs> I am alive. <laughs> and I actually finally caught up because I I was like two months behind and when you record videos every single day and they're an hour long oh it's a lot of catching up I was binge watching some YouTube man it was nice though I enjoyed it it was almost like I didn't miss anything you know that was pretty cool but yeah I was thinking about doing videos um I do want to do a very regular schedule for you guys. Um, so, there's the back. It'll look a little bit different once I cut them all out. Um, do I want to cut them out and then let them dry or let them dry like this? I think I'll let them dry like that. All right, I need another sheet of paper. Alright, this one is called La Blanc Stack. And this is a DCWV. Ooh, that one's pretty. So, one of the things I wanted to do was use up my paper. Use up my, like, materials. Because I have so many materials. And... I mean, a big portion of me having a lot of materials is the fact that I have a store that I sell materials in. Um, but, like, I have a lot of personal materials. Like, because I don't sell the scrap of paper. Print, 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 print. So anyway, yeah, I don't sell scrap of paper, but I have a ton of it. Like... Um, there's a, uh, there's a company, it's, uh, it's like a, an education store. Uh, I don't know if it's down here, but I know that it's up north. Um, it's called Lakeshore. Anyway, I had gotten a bookshelf from a neighbor. She was moving and it's, uh, it's a Lakeshore bookshelf and it's huge. But it's short. It's just wide. Like, it's very long. Anyway, that thing is completely full of scrap of paper. I posted a picture a long time ago on Instagram of that bookshelf. And that's pretty much what it looks like now, still. And if you guys remember uh, last year, I think, not as in a couple months ago, but last summer, I had uh, I had gotten rid of a lot of my paper pads. But I still have so many left. Like I haven't I haven't bought paper in a minute. I did just buy some paper. It's on its way here. But when you see it, I'm sure you'll understand. And if you don't, that's okay because I love it and I did not buy it to sell it uh, this particular person that I buy from I buy her products to use not to sell um, so I don't mind sharing that particular source with you guys um, because like I said I do not buy her stuff to resell I buy it to use it and um, once the package arrives, I'll, I'll share it with you guys. But it's the same place that I get my, uh, my rice paper. Um, it's uh, ACS, I think, is her name. Uh, I've bought a couple shipments of rice paper because I didn't have any. And then, of course, um, you know, with Miss Gail doing her Etsy shares, which I love, by the way, because 
I love going and seeing what everybody else has to offer. It's amazing. Anyway, um, she was on one of her Etsy shares. And I was like, what is that? What is this rice paper stuff everybody talks about all the time? And so I figured I would get a couple. <laughs> and so I got a couple. And if you know me, you know a couple is not two. <laughs> so, um, then I was like, oh my gosh, these are amazing. So then I made another order. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I don't have any fall stuff. So then I made another order. I was like, I need to stop. And then she put a sale on her shop. And I saw all the paper. I was like, oh my gosh, you're killing me, lady. Oh, but it's amazing. It's amazing. But yeah. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy that idea from Miss Gail for sure. And I'm going to do Etsy shares with you guys. When I buy something from Etsy, then I'm going to share it. Or, you know, if you send me stuff like um, Melissa had sent me this, Melissa Franks or Mimi, um, which I still have, by the way. Uh, oh, and I actually got a bottle that I can use it on. Whee! Aren't you proud of me? Anyway, oops. Putting strings inside my paper. So, anywho. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Because I, as a, um, as a subscriber to someone else who does that, I actually really appreciate it. And then as a shop owner to someone else who does that for me, I also really appreciate it. So I think that I want to do that too. Now, I don't think I'm going to have near the impact that, you know, some of the bigger channels have, obviously, but I do want to share, you know, I think that the more we get the word out that the shops are this, you know, that are open, I think it'll be easier and I think it'll be more fun. And I don't know. I just, I want to help. And I mean, I'm capable of doing that. So I figure why not, you know? So What do you guys think? Do you have shops that you want to share your information? Um, I know there are some people that do like um, YouTube sales. Um, I'm not, not sure if I'm going to do that per se because YouTube is a huge platform and um, I don't really shop on YouTube anymore. Um, So, I don't know if I'm going to do that per se, but if you have like a website or an Etsy shop or whatever, you know what I mean? Jelly bean. Yeah, this was such, so much better of an idea than the glue stick because I spent hours putting these papers on the back of ledger paper or the front of ledger paper or however you want to say that with a glue stick and I mean they're cards so it's not like it's flimsy paper and this is scrapbook paper again not like it's flimsy paper so I think it can handle it. I'm just pushing it all the way to the side so it's one less side I have to cut. Yeah. Now one thing with touching the ledger paper is you will see that your hands get very dingy 
because the paper is old. Um, but I think that's going to look really cool. Can y'all see that? It's like, it's white, but it's got the damask um, pattern in it. I think. I'm sure someone's going to tell me it's not damask, but I have no idea. All right, so let's grab another sheet of paper. And we'll go back to the little blonde. really pretty too. I like that one too. See, I like that one too. Mm. Ooh, that one's cool. Ooh, let's see this one. Because it is, um, we're doing like wintry. So, I'm going to do that one. So another thing that I wanted to ask you guys about is um, if you watch your calories and you happen to know, um, sorry, I'm just taking the glue off my fingers, even though I'm going to get more glue on my fingers. If you guys watch your calorie intake and you happen to know some really amazing recipes that are not just water and vegetables, i.e. soup. Um, I would really love to know because I have a family of five to feed and they will only take so much soup before they're just like, mom, really soup again? <laughs> Cause I'll eat soup all day long. Even before I started noon, I loved soup. Um, but I'm also looking for like more of a balanced meal, not just you know, veggies, because just having veggies is not balanced at all. And what's odd is I can do breakfast and lunch just fine. For whatever reason, it's dinner that trumps me up. Like, I just, I can't figure it out, I guess. Ah, I need to put more Mod Podge in here. It's all getting all goopy on me. Oh, speaking of Mod Podge, there was something that I saw. Because um, like I said, I've been catching up on Miss Gale, so I'm sure I'm going to mention her a couple times. Um, but something she did, she calls it fabric paper. And she uses Mod Podge, but it's like watered down. I don't know that I've used watered down Mod Podge before because Mod Podge in and of itself is very wet. I swear I thought I heard someone behind me, but there's no one behind me, not even the dog. Um, but anyway, it's really, really cool and um, it's a great way to use up some of your napkins if you have like a thousand bajillion napkins or even napkin scraps. I'll have to do it one day because I don't really have a lot of napkin scraps um, because I guess that's something that I've always been very like ridiculous about is I will throw my scraps away to an extent. I mean, if I have a piece of paper that's this big, I'm not going to throw that away. But the scraps that are like less than a half an inch or less than a quarter of an inch wide, I do not keep those. And I know that that hurts a lot of people. Like, I'm sure it physically hurts a lot of people. But I can't do it. I just can't bring myself to do it. Which is really sad because I actually want to try some, some of the things that she does with her scraps. And I'm just like, well, I have to do them with not scraps because I don't have any scraps. I actually started a scrap back, guys. Like, for reals. This is where to go. This is my, <laughs> this is my scrap bag. It's got like four sheets of paper. <laughs> it is so sad. But that's my scrap bag. That's it. Um, right 
now my scraps for my um, rice paper are right there. And yep, I kept the little teeny tiny ones because all I did, I thought of one particular person yelling at me for not keeping the scraps. <laughs> so it was just like, oh, I got to keep this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I'm not very good at not making a mess, am I? Oh no, this one's crooked. No. Ugh. Oh, Craigie. No. No. Ugh. Well, that's going to be fun. At least you won't see it. <laughs> you won't see my whoopsie. I can't believe I put it on Cricket. Like it was so crooked, it was hanging off the paper crooked. There. Now it's not off the paper, it's on the edge. Okay. So anyway, what do we got, 50 minutes? All right, so we'll do about 10 more minutes and then wrap it up. And we'll see how you guys like the hour long videos. I think I'm gonna stick with the hour long videos for at least a little while and see what you guys say. Um, I'm fairly certain when I first started YouTube, like a thousand years ago, uh, I did hour long videos then too. And that was the more popular time frame. It's kind of funny though. If you go back and watch any of my old videos, my arms are naked. It's really bizarre. I'm like, ooh, I have nothing on my arms. It's crazy. All right. Oh, I didn't even, like, I knew I picked out a couple pink ones, but I didn't realize I did all pink ones. That's okay. Uh, you know what? Let's do a couple other ones. Come on. Do... We'll do one of those. What's on the side? Yeah, we'll do one of those. I was making sure it wasn't directional. Wee. I've missed weeing with you guys. <laughs> Bye. So, my son went to stay the night with his friends last night and then he asked if he could stay the night again tonight but last night was so funny um because he had packed his bag bag um he grabbed a paper grocery bag put a pair of underwear in it and a pair of socks called it a day <laughs> like dude no you need clothes you need a toothbrush. He's like, Mom, we're camping. It's like, fine, but you still need to brush your teeth before you leave. And you still need clothes. Oh, that was so funny, though. He's been so big, man. He's almost as tall as me, like, including his hair, because he's got longer hair. Um, and, I mean, it's not, like, down to his waist long or nothing like that. Not that there's anything wrong with it. Uh, I love long hair. Uh, men or women, doesn't matter. I love long hair. One of my really good friends, he's got super long hair. Um, like, I'm fairly certain his hair is longer than mine, and mine is very long. But anyway, so Porter's got long hair, and uh, he's got my hair, so it's really thick, and it's got a little bit of a texture to it. And, uh, so when it's dry, it's poofy. And when it's wet, it's curly. I mean, it's curly when it's dry, too. It's just poofy. So anyway, 
he stands next to me with his dry poofy hair and his hair is taller than me does that count <laughs> but that kid man he's I gave him one of Wayne's shirts last night um, to go next door with because he's like I don't have a clean shirt I'm like whose fault is that Mine. yeah so anyway he was just like um, I gave him one of Wayne's shirts and he came back this afternoon because I told him he'd be back by uh, noon and he came back this afternoon and I saw him in it and I was just like you're serious oh my god this shirt is almost too small for you oh that's really pretty but really bright I don't know that we're gonna do red oh that's pretty though I like that a lot and roses can be good for any season Ooh, I like that Mmm, that was nice. Yeah, then I'm going to do this one. Alright, so this one's a little bit of a thinner paper, so I don't know if I can paint the paper, but we're going to give it a whirl. Oh, it's 56 minutes. Oh, I don't think I can do this in four minutes. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and call it a day for today, and um, I'm going to show you the ones that we did earlier. Um, tomorrow and we'll just we'll finish up and we'll just we'll continue to work on these cards until they're all backed and um, we'll just keep working on them so thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video bye guys